today just so happens to be my first day loading a wedge for myself. I've helped others do it in the past, um, way before I got into this myself, and um, obviously I know the concept of weight distribution and uh, not being lazy and not being top heavy. So, um, just so happens today, the way we were picking up, we deliver in the exact reverse order so obviously the easiest thing would be would be to put the first car all the way up top the second one in the middle and the rear one in the back because that's how we're gonna unload them the rear one goes first well that doesn't work on a wedge so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to do some moving around of these vehicles um, pick up the first one put it over the axles then scoot it up eventually at our third pickup move everything all three in a line um, in the spot they should be so what I want to do today is see how long this actually takes me um, because I've seen people obviously be lazy and leave them up top and it's you know you always think hey it must be a time thing but it really doesn't take that long so I want to see how long it takes me because I'm gonna you know try to maximize my you know my income with this trailer of always being loaded with three cars so you know the pickup and delivery you have an extra stop on each end it takes time depending on if you know where your pickup and drop-off locations are so see how today goes um, it's a the farthest we will be from the house is about an hour and 40 minutes um, we're like 45 minutes and then another 45 minutes and then like 10 minutes so they're all pretty close well two of them are close to each other but we don't have to go that far and then they all deliver tomorrow around the Cleveland and Akron area in Ohio I delayed this because of the snow that moved in this morning and from what I've seen it's not really that bad roads are just wet um, but let me know down in the comments because today's Tuesday I'll be headed out Wednesday morning so if you guys see otherwise in that area let me know but I had something else to say. I don't remember. See you guys when we're loading this thing up. Well, as you can see, it's the next day here. I didn't do any filming yesterday loading these cars. We are loaded with three. Uh, we have a Prius, a Audi A3, and a uh, Volkswagen Rabbit. So I didn't do any filming excuse me yesterday while loading these because I just wanted to learn the process and be safe I want to be worrying about the camera and if the angle looked right and all that so we're headed uh, on the Pennsylvania Turnpike right now headed out to Cleveland Ohio it's snowing right now it's been snowing the last two days in Cleveland uh, last traffic cam I looked at roads are just wet uh, there is snow on the side of the roads and whatnot but the roads are just wet so that's good uh, but we got to get this done the Prius is the reason for this trip but I will make sure I show you guys once the Sun comes up what we got on the trailer and uh, nothing like taking the new to me trailer and putting it right in the snow but the good thing about that it's all aluminum so we don't have to worry about much here's your winter tip of the day washers freeze up rubbing alcohol It is cold out here, but this is a pretty sight. So I thoroughly enjoy working with brokers sometimes. So I call on a load from Hagerstown, Maryland to I think it's Freehold, New Jersey. It's a brand new 2021 uh, Mercedes. And I know what dealer it's coming from. I'm there all the time. So I call on it. I gotta go to New I gotta get to New Jersey Friday. So I'm trying to make my drops and my pickups to be preloaded for Friday to get a jersey. So I call on this car that's on the board and I said, hey, you know, I can pick it up on Thursday. I can deliver Friday morning. It'd be first thing Friday morning when they open. That's great. We'll dispatch it to you. And it was paying like $1.32 a mile for just that car, which I thought was pretty good. 
dealer to dealer, pretty self-explanatory, done deal. She's like, I will dispatch it to you and within 10 minutes. So 10 minutes goes by, don't hear anything. I'm like, eh, you know, whatever, they're busy. I'm not, you know, in a rush to get the order. I'm, you know, I still got at least 26 to 28 hours before I would get to that vehicle. So no, no hurry. So she calls back and she's like, hey, we have a problem that we, this car has to be picked up today and delivered today. I'm like, ugh. I was like, well, I can't do that. You know, the best I can do is guarantee you to be there Friday morning. You know, I understand, but if something falls through, call me, whatever. If you know my time schedule, call me. So I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here. I kind of forgot about the car and uh, refilled deaf. Um, so they call back and they're like, hey, we're just trying to figure out why if you pick it up tomorrow, you can't make it there tomorrow. And I was like, well, that's not really for you to figure out, but, you know, I will be making drops and picks tomorrow and I'm not going to have time to make it to New Jersey. Well, it's only a 200 mile run. I said, I get that, but with my hours of service and my schedule, I won't make it. I'm not staying in New Jersey. Ah, okay, well, hmm, give me an hour and uh, we'll probably just have you take this car if you can guarantee it. I'm like, running around in freaking circles, but what's for them to, to try to pick apart my schedule and figure out why I can't get it there? I'm sorry the last carrier screwed you. And that's why they're having such a rush on this car because it's supposed to be picked up three days ago. It was never picked up. In one mile, use the lift. And the people that were supposed to pick it up never called and said they couldn't get it. So they were pretty much just sitting there waiting for a bill of lading thinking it was already delivered. And the customer called and asked where their car was. So that's my little rant. Man, I'm really get glad I bought a GoPro that doesn't work. So finally got this thing to turn on I just moved both of these cars up the deck um, strapping them down now and I just found this one this is my last one so we had these down here we moved them up and these drop off at the same place so I've done three drops and this will be three picks total so it's been a long day but we've got about three hours or so back to the house now i got this q7 we're picking up and that's gonna take up the last spot here but it's been a day wanted to i've been working my butt off and i wanted to show you guys it but unfortunately with the gopro not working i don't have my good camera with me uh because of how wet it was and snowing and whatnot i left it at the house so let me get this q7 loaded up here been storing my ramps inside here um, unfortunately it's gonna need work because it's not staying dry in here but that's no big deal there's like vents that need to be sealed up there's two back there but pretty good size area in here but I can lock these doors and I'm gonna come up with something to store the ramps on the outside and lock them up the factory ramps on these things are tiny they're like from here over so there's no room for error in it especially with the snow and being slippery i wanted my good ramps for this trip so 
So we just store them underneath. But let me get this Q7 strapped down so we can get home. Yeah, it is.